Well, well people, we have just came out of Edinburgh, it's currently heading home towards Falkirk. And we have some tractors bailing up their silage for the feet for the horses, Eric Hughes, sorry. Look at the motorway, how, how it's all changed. Yeah, it's just... It's bad to think that they're all gone. Aye, aye man. It's just been that way, do you know what I mean? Yep. Of where, where, where are all these people going? Do you know what I mean? That's aye. I've always wondered that. We're just doing about having a wee, <laughs> a wee banter, people. Just showing you the scenes of Coach of Hire of Edinburgh. Where the Volcano Mountains. As everybody knows. Look at this. Look. Big, big place out there. And there's people sitting in the house doing nothing. There's Arthur seat in that way over in the back there. They've just came from there. Yeah, we'll see folks. I was talking to a couple of people last night um, about coming on their lives. They are very, very willing to come on and speak to me and start getting the thing growing with the channel now. Um, I'll say a lot of support. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'll just let you kind of wonder and create. But as I say, the channel is coming on further now um, with fantastic guests coming up. I say I've not been I've been told not to mention nothing um, just now for the simple fact is dates, times and when we can get it done. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day there's a lot of things that we need to speak about. I've just looked at that, look at that. Waste a big bit of green space, build more houses. What you'll realise is Falkirk, Embra, Glasgow. Going to yes, joined. all the way out to Fife will be connected, so it's just one big area. So is that going to be one big police force? Well, and but that's, that's, that. that, that's what I'm saying. It's like with the, with the police force, you've got Glasgow, you've got Edinburgh, you've got Falkirk, you've got Stirling, you've got Fife. Now, are they going to make one just in the middle? That's because that's what the, the thing he was the route because you didn't get all the important police in there. Exactly. It's all just one police squad. So you could get charged with something in Falkirk. Yep. But go to Stirling or Hamilton or anywhere. Yep. To, to be brought up to court for it because it's all one police force now. So uh, does that say they're going to build a, a big huge building somewhere? So it dispatches, you know what I mean? I or are they so. just going to keep their wee local... I think they'll keep it the way local vans. Look, like the camper vans are way there for a lovely holiday. I wonder, I wonder if, like, see, do you ever wonder if they're foreign or if they're here? Uh, and man. if they've came from Because realistically, mm -hmm. right, we go to Spain for a holiday. The folk exactly. from Spain come here. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but when you look, when you think about when you go up, when you go abroad, then, as I say, you come out and you look about and you see all the kind of fantastic views and all the scenery. You know what I mean? Is it worth going to when you've got all this at your own door? I think most people go abroad for it as a sunshine. Mm. I think well, no, no. if we were a hotter climate, there would be a lot more staycations. But of course, obviously with COVID and that as well, Aye. a lot of people were staying. And when you think about it, realistically, when you wait up, yep. when we looked at centre parts for a week, £2,500 for one week. That's unreal, that, isn't it? Isn't and it? then you're... Just no much more. Three grand will get you two weeks in the sun. Exactly. But yeah. I think I would rather have the two weeks at ooh, two weeks in the sun. We stay in this driving. Mm -hmm. Than a week here, risking what kind of weather you could possibly get. Yep. Look at that, folks. So. I see. Prices are phenomenal, isn't it? Very wee post there. Ah, the prices for holidays is um. Unreal to go on yeah. you, you know what I mean? But you've got all these caravan parks and places about Scotland and England and all that. They need their local community support. You know what I mean? Because they're not making ends meet now with the tax and the new rules and regulations for 
your, ca your caravan and your, your um, what do you call it? Your yearly post to keep oh, the... Oh, your ground rent? Aye, uh, your aye. count, eh? Uh, when? So... Your site fees and all that? Aye, uh, so you've got your site fees to kind of think about, when you think about that, but you're paying a month, well a year, sorry, for your caravan to sit in a wee place. You know what I mean? You're spending that every month to go away. Aye, but you know see, what I mean? when you, see when you think about it, because I always just think, that's extortionate for a cat, but they're paying for like, the use of the entertainment, the passes, yep. stuff like that. I'll go there ground it, and also the ground rent is for maintenance as well. So Aye. if anything goes wrong, they know that they can, they can fix it. Aye, but true, true. at three grand a year, that's over a hundred pound a month. Exactly, exactly. In fact, it's over £200 a month. They're sitting about £250 a month. Yep. Well, Scotland flag there. Flying high, proudly. But I say, it's just a wee video, just a wee journey, just to show you that on Livco Palace, BK Country Park, and Bones Canal Railway. You know what I mean? How many times have we done the Canal Railway? Aye, that's got a wee kind of. Thomas. Aye, uh, Thomas, the train that kind of takes you about uh, the old train station in Bones. Which is quite a popular, it's a popular wee place to go on here. It is, aye, because you've got to book it. Mm -hmm. So it is quite far in advance that you have to book. Aye, man. That's quite mad, that. We've got a new fence in it. Well, we're away, we have to book swimming. I know. So, I know. what we'll do is in the next couple of weeks, we'll go in and see what ones are available and yep. just book it for them because. If we didn't, we might not end up getting into the pool. Yep. I'm just he showing you. Huh? He likes the pool. Aye. I'm just showing you the scenery, you know what I mean? As I say, because a lot of people ask me to come out and like, do a wee bit more walking about and that, but as I say, I had to go through and see somebody in Edinburgh the other day. Um, and I thought I'd just do a wee bit on the way back just to show you what it's like. It's currently half past one. Um, and as I say, the motorway's kind of quiet, to be honest with you. I, I thought it would have been busier than this at this time. Ah, but you're, I mean, the next <coughs> hour, it'll start getting busy because that'll be folk coming back from work. Well, yeah, true. Pick up the means to be school. True. The <laughs> half past two to really four, half four, five o'clock work traffic. Yeah. If you didn't get done by half before half two, there'd be a point getting it done. Exactly, exactly. But uh, as I say folks, um, I was on the phone to quite a few folk last night um, to do the pods and it's gone it's looking quite good. I'm quite excited about it and where it's going. Um, and speak to these guys, it's quite, it's quite, it is a risk, kind of cheered you up kind of thing, knowing that you've got their support, you know what I mean? Um, and they're willing to come out onto your platform and speak about things and tell you their own stories and they're fascinating stories, you know what I mean? They're un just unreal, you know what I mean? They're all about stories and that, but these stories, you, you know what I mean? It's just how these people go through it is just unreal, eh? You know what I mean? It's just. I wish I could tell you, eh? But to be honest, you know what I mean? It's a spoil surprise, you know I mean? And it's just. I'm just glad that man that everything's kind of sorted to sell out now and we're getting there. Um, Aye, just bring forward positivity. Aye, man. Because everybody else wants to, or you've got these jokers that want to come on and try and bring you down on a lie. I know. That says more about them than it does about you. You're still putting your face up and you're still trying to do it. Exactly. You're hiding behind faceless profiles and then speak to you in the street. <laughs> exactly. No. And I know who they are and it's it's a fucking, it's, it's your buddy here, you know what I mean? There's, there's no point, you know what I mean? Why didn't we all just come, come together and help, you know what I mean, and just think about the next generation instead of think about... Because they can't let themselves be seen to be doing what they're doing. Exactly. Because exactly. everybody thinks, oh no, 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 they wouldn't do that, they wouldn't do that, aye. You know what I mean, and that's where, what this summer, we will be at Danemere, um, and try to get more like, funding and helping to do these things, you know what I mean, they all just didn't, you know what I mean, happen overnight, it's just, as I say, it's, it's 
it's hard for people didn't understand. I mean, but this is what I like doing, and so disgusting. We like helping people and sorting people out. You know what I mean? We'll do what we can to try and help them. But other people just think that you're out there just to try and show off when you're no. You know what I mean? You're just trying to, I don't know, maybe correct your past. You know what I mean? And do try to change your for the future. You know what I mean? And try and kind of redeem yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 that's not really for me because I've not really hit me. Well, no, you've not got a criminal record or nothing like You've not been in trouble. I where it's all me, so it's maybe me. But I'm under. I mean? I, 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 the only time you should look down on somebody is when you are helping them up. Exactly, exactly. But people didn't like that, you know what I mean? You've always got these haters. Two miles, the junction five, take the A905 exit to A904. <laughs> I don't know why we're still listening to that because we're back to the point where we know <laughs> where we are but we're still switched off. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, I'm going to turn the camera around because over to the, the thing we here is a big recycling centre here and it is stinking, you know oh. what I mean? Hey, uh -huh. It is rotten and um, it's got the big cages but you see the big nets do a way back in the year 2000 I, I got my first job in there and that was filling the pit with like, spare tyres you know what I mean? And oh man, it was stinking. And mind, um, mind when Alec used to work in there, we used to pick Alec up. Aye man, aye. Oh. Aye. Um, even sitting in the car aye. now, <laughs> you can smell it come through the vents and it's it's ridiculous man. You've got these places, right? Now there's a big housing scheme just up at the back, where, well, see, in the back yeah. And there's another housing scheme to your left. I don't know how they can do that. And how, aye, how they can stay there, you know what I mean? And where that smell is unreal. Do you I mean, think they'll get some kind of allowance for that because we've been so close to a, well, you'd think a dump site? You'd think they'd pay, you know what I mean? Because you've got look, 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 another housing scheme there. Aye. Ah, you know what I mean? Mind uh, you, you're across a motorway. Yeah, and so there's another so housing scheme just there. there. But In half a mile, at junction 5, take the A905 exit to A904, Falkirk. And you stopped talking. Ah, it's just got to do, I know, I didn't know why I stopped talking because it's sat now. There we are, the Falkirk Hill, the Helix and the Calendar House. Three very important places of Falkirk and heritage. Yep. It's fantastic. But as I say, I, I'm just glad, you know what I mean, that we're getting Next here. Is a um, we'll be going down towards Newcastle towards the end of, when is it? Uh, we're going on the 17th of July. 17th of July, we'll be doing the Newcastle Way. Kirsty's never been to Newcastle. Eh? Um, I could drive up north, like the back of my hand, mm -hmm. but I've never been further past than. Well, I think the furthest I've been doing is Inner Leithan. Inner Leithan? Aye. Uh, Maybe slightly further down, but I've uh, never been further than that. Oh, is it? Yeah, I've been through the Peebles. I've been down there, aye. But I've never drove myself to the Peebles. Mm. Years ago, years ago when. Um, I was a wee boy, I'd say a wee boy, probably 13, 14 to watch it, man. Um, we done a lot of driving down to Sunderland and Newcastle, um, We slates and all that, eh? But in the 90s, early 90s, um, and as I say, then Kendall and kind of stuff like that, Manchester, yeah, that's the kind of furthest I've ever, I've always wanted to go to London, and uh, I've always, aye. I've always wanted to go to London, But and I think we could fly, to the city could take us back on the plane. That's aye. what Zoe suggested. Yep. London. I've just thought about something. London, London, I'd like to go to London. Um, as I say, it's a big place I've never been, is London, you know what I mean? Aye. I've got, <coughs> and see, like, to go and see the stuff like the London Eye, Big Ben. Aye, man. I'm no, I'm no a, a royalist by a start, but I'd like to go and see Buckingham Palace. Aye, Buckingham Palace. Aye. And, well, it's there, there, there are all your big historical uh, sites. There's the um, McLean Dyke Garden Centre, and you've got your Premier Inn, and the Brewers Fair. That's a good munch there, to be honest with you. Ah, it's quite a good munch. It's a good munch there, big up to Brewers Fair. We shout it. Um, as I say, this is where the Fiskies gone up here, the new Fisky Bond in Falkirk. And on the right hand side, that's. Grant Sable. And the Grant Sable Cemetery is over there, and up the back there is the old uh, residential school where I was first put to be uh, when I entered the care system, was back there. And as I say over to your uh, right hand side. Again, that's really weird, right? Yeah. That time we've passed it. There's a, a travel lodge premier in. Aye. 
just slap bang on the, the slip road coming at a Grangeman. Eh? You can go to the, you can get off at the motorway. Yep. And it's just a travel lodge just sitting there in the middle of a business park. Aye, man. You know what I mean? Aye, that's just. Further along there. Aye, that's the. I just. To your right hand side to the back, you've got the big aye. containers. That's just up situated for the Grangeman docks. I remember that used to be a warehouse, but it was set on fire, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, we'll, we'll just leave it that. But anyway, that got sent fire. But um, yeah, they're actually a dry slope ski centre back here. Sorry, I just missed it. Um, for your kids if they want to learn how to ski and that. So fault it. And adults. And adults. Sorry, yeah. I. Um, I just nudge scrap yard. Yeah. Scrap car bought here. Make sure you just nudge boy. As I say, um, he's not so much it's, um, his son. His son. Aye, right, it's man. not just a free danger, man. Look, there's a football park there. You wouldn't even know that was there, I know, that's what I'm saying. But apparently it's to create a new wildlife grown for the... Aye, all this. Aye, there's, the, there's the, the yellow fields. You'll see that. I meant to say that to you on the way back, you'll see it on the way back in the video. Mm-hmm. In Edinburgh, each side. Yeah. It was just kind of a yellow haze. Well, that's when that's coming. Well, that's... It's no, it's no them things. No, no. That's a dandy flowers, uh, isn't it? Daisies. Daisies. No, what is it? You want me to put under your chin to see if you like butter. Buttercups. Buttercups. But that's what I'm saying. You'll find that with all the fields in the Ukraine. Because uh -huh. of what's going on in Ukraine now, they've got, they've got to grow it here. Because of, of what's happened with the war in Ukraine, they can't, because that, that's where it all usually comes from. But now they're starting to grow it here. You know what I mean? That's why there's real on, on cheese and yeah. everything. Did you see what happened in Ukraine on the news? Aye, man. About the dam blowing up? Well, that's a, that's a big political debate, that. Uh -huh. um, who was to blame there? I mean, because the Russians are trying to blame the Ukrainians to do that. No, I, I and think, China. And, aye, and China, but I think that's very doubtful that Ukraine's going to do that, because that guy who took over, uh, Ukraine's Prime Minister, he, aye, he's, he's, he was just a norm there at fire station, sorry. Falkirk Fire Station, and there you are, Falkirk Stadium. That, there's a car boot sale in there on a Sunday. Yeah, there's a car boot sale, it starts at half past six. There's also a car boot sale in the Dolby Hall on a Wednesday. The Dolby Hall's in Stennis, smear people. But there you go. There's Falkirk Run. Football Run there. That's where people go and do the boot sale at the weekend. You know, that's quite good. Aye, it's, aye, it's good. And then you've got the Kelpies there, there. To your right. And the Helix. And there's a new college. Yeah, there's a new campus, a college. Anyway, people, I'm going to love you and leave you and see.